Good day, guys. So, well, I've been working on a feature which I'm kind of chuffed with. Hold on, let me actually just adjust this camera a bit because I see I'm not really centered. There we go. So, I've been working on a feature on um, RF2 Ethos, which I'm kind of really chuffed about, and it, it, it's been a little bit of a rejig. Now, it, it's come about through really using the servo override. And I realized that there was a fundamental problem in that the servo override would encourage people to level their swash by changing their servo positions. And um, it, it's kind of not really the right place to do it. So um, I worked a plan. Well, so let's take a look at what happens here. If I go into the simulator, and um, you'll notice first off this icon's been cleaned up. That's just um, to kind of create a bit of a distinguishment between RF2 Ethos and RF2, which Egon does, which is a fantastic system, super quick, does everything you want. But um, I was just a bit annoyed. I didn't like having both icons looking identical because I kind of felt it made it confusing. So we got a different one. Small thing, but it's a detail. Now, if I go oh, into oh, RF2 oh. Ethos, and what you'll notice, we now have an option called Trim. So essentially what's happened is the mixer page has been changed to only put advanced mixing in. So where this used to have all the swash trim stuff and was completely out the way and buried away, that's now limited just to a few core details. I'm going to bump back here and we will go up to trim. So what happens here? The system does a query on the flight controller and it says, okay, are you running a motorized tail? Or are you running a regular kind of servo driven tail? And in this case, my simulator has detected that I'm running a motorized tail, so it's presented me with tail idle throttle. Had I been running the um, other version, what it would have done is basically turned around and presented me with tail trim percentage, by memory is what it's called. So everything works exactly as expected, but you'll notice you've got a little star option here. If you click on that star, you get the option Enable mixer override. Set all servos to the configured center positions. It will result in all values on the page being saved when adjusting the servo trim. This is very important because you're entering a new mode. The second you click OK, the servos on your heli are going to lock to their neutral positions, which should pretty much in an ideal world be zero pitch and kind of time to do some swash leveling. So let's click on that. Mixer override. Mixer override. Oh. Enable. Now, this is obviously in the sim, but in the real world, what actually happens is the servo on the heli has now been centered. And the net result is when you click on this and you go up and down, you will find that the servo moves. Um, and it moves in small, small amounts. So quite often for testing, you have to move by values of like 10 or so to kind of get enough through to actually make the servo. But it kind of depends on how good your servo is and how far it moves. But um. That's kind of what happens. So you can effectively trim your swash on the fly. And when you're done with that, you can either go back over here and return control or just click menu and it will go back to normal. Disabled. So that's kind of cool. It's a, it's a trim feature. Now, this has lent itself to another facility is if I look at servers. Now, first off, we noticed on trim that I was using a motorized throttle. Um, or motorized tail servo, it means the same information if I click on servos, means, oh, I haven't deployed it to this one. Oh, this is my fault. Hold on. I'm going to very quickly do this. I was doing this on the live radio. You get everything on the fly. This deploy simulator in the background that I'm just going to reload this page. Oh. Not there we go. Now I've got my latest code base <laughs> in the simulator, and we will see if I go into servos. I don't see the tail servo. Um, this is the joy when you're developing on both radio and simulator. Sometimes you forget what you've deployed to where. But um, so the net result is because I am running that, I kind of get just that. And I think, um, yeah, that's kind of really all I wanted to show you at this point. Um, is that you can now trim your swash. And um, the same applies a bit in servers. In fact, I'll, I'll kind of go into this now too anyway. So in servos, I've probably shown some videos already where I clicked on the center 
and it immediately put the servo into override and you could adjust the center. You know, I played around this, with this a lot and I didn't really like how it worked. You ended up with confusing states where you'd click on, you'd be at override, you click off, you'd be out of override. It kind of, it, it just wasn't clear. So in the same fashion, I have also got a um, enable server override, which puts you in and out of that mode. Because the thing is, is that in fact, the message here kind of is very key. If you adjust the servo center, you will save all values if you are in that mode. And it changes the way the interface works. Effectively, you no longer have to click the save button because it is saving everything straight off. And you know, that, that's a significant difference. Um, I kind of think what I'm probably going to do on these pages is that if you enter that mode, I'll disable the save button to make it even clearer that you're in that mode. Because in reality, you can't click save if you're in that mode. So that's something that will be done. What else? I don't know. Lots of things are changing all the time. Status page, I think I've shown you guys. This is a new feature which will give you real time load. And if you go in the sort of tools, you can erase the data flash. And we now also, for good measure, have a little about page because I thought this is a little bit of debug information, which is kind of handy. Tells you about the system you're running. And we also have a little credit to many of the people who have helped work on this and done countless testing for me because there's been a lot of people doing that. Um, yeah, there you go. Some updates. Enjoy. Cheers, guys.